Welcome in once again to the YGO Fresh Off the Press community, where we analyze the current pulse, trends, and forecast of the Yu-Gi-Oh! markets. We're here to feed, feed that endless, eternal Yu-Gi-Oh! market watch cardboard addiction. You guys already know. Man, show some love, subscribe, make sure you click that button right there. Blah. Really helps out the channel. Let's dig in immediately. Guys, just wanted to briefly touch up on this. Um, we have a structured deck announcement for the OCG. Uh, basically a rewave. I don't know. I don't think it's the same. Are there new cards here? Well, yeah, it says brand new structured deck are basically a re-release, but with new cards. Um, over there in the OCG onslaught of the Fire King. So, you know, possible Fire King support on September 9th, 2023, over there um in the OCG. So just wanted to make sure I covered <clears throat> excuse me i covered that why because fire fist cards have been going up fire king cards have been going up you know when cards get announced um you know that's when the hype usually comes in so let's go high to low here and check these cards out as we can see there's an ulti here let's check out that then we have tire king ult ultimate rare as well also guys keep in mind in fists of the gadget there was some secret rare brand new fire fist link monsters and uh you know and panda for example here so this set everyone forgot about it and like uh fire fist who cares about them from fists of the gadgets you know again look fists of the gadgets was the name of the set guys and like actually let's take a look at this one for example look if you click here everyone forgot about this project uh, i'm sorry this product as you can see we had a reprint of the hidden city fire formation tanky you know a couple of pendulum cards ignis scrap recycler cold radiator really like this stonk man need to talk more about that in a future stonk video but yeah just a bunch of different cards that no one cares about anymore but again you know with uh, the reprint the structure deck coming out you just never know if people are going to come back to this you know whenever we get it over here in the ocg but you know later on this year in q4 this year this deck might be a thing and we we want to think ahead you know what i mean so as we can see here you know uh, people coming in they're buying their ots and uh, this thing is spiking up quick man if we actually clean this up janitor style only two pages 19 listings and uh yeah yes yeah, we can see you know card has been getting the demand recently even before the announcement um but yes yeah, definitely one to keep in mind brotherhood of the fire fist bear that's one ultimate rare and then you have a uh, brotherhood of the fire fist tiger king ultimate rare from cosmo blazer same deal you see a little bit of a bump up here it's a 15 billy card quickly gets bought out as you can see uh and look only 11 listings two pages just barely um this card can double up quick man you know what i mean the hype is real people look again coming in just getting their mint copies and at 13 billies and it's just bumping up bumping up so make sure you keep this in mind and also again like we mentioned you know eagle used to be money man like when it first came out this card used to be money and look spiking back up now um after that now still at five dollars five billies um but after that that uh, structure deck was announced 33 listings only make sure you guys keep these link monsters in mind as well other than eagle you know you have a uh, panda where's panda right here panda and then you have elephant as well all these animals right eagle panda elephant you know these three this is what i would focus on if i really think you know that either i'm gonna play the deck or as an investment these are great cards to keep in mind and then actually fire kings uh themselves you know you have a uh, avatar barong here it came out in the original structured deck as you can see here a lot of structured deck cards but many of these only have single prints and then you have this one from judgment of light you know what i mean there's a lot of cards that you know if the structured deck actually comes out later on this year you know um these prices will probably appreciate look at the spike here for fire king high avatar garunix ultra rare from the structured deck if it gets the the rewave per se with the new cards it might get reprinted in there but for now it's the single print one of the main uh, fire king cards look it's a three billy card quickly goes up to four and five and beyond only 14 listings guys look people coming in that's what i that's the whole goal of this section of the market watch people are coming in the demand is here the announcement is made so keep that in mind i wanted to go over some cards that are spiking in value like colossal fighter ultimate rare from turbo pack booster five look used to be an 88 billy card boom just going parabolic you know here it says 90 billies but 
cleaned out, man. Cleaned out, honestly. Only three copies in the market, one in Spanish. You know, I showed you guys in my deck profile over here. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you come over here. Great video. I didn't get a lot of traction, but check that out. Great deck profile there for Edison format. Um, as you can see here, I actually have one of these and I'm debating. Same with Catastor. We discussed it recently. But man, this card, of course, is back down to the mean. Supply has come back in at around 90 billies. But after this massive wall, 10 wall right here, only eight listings, it's a triple digit card. And after those two leave the market, it's 150, 200 and beyond, guys. Only one page. These cards are getting bought out. They're getting targeted. Why? Because you know what I mean? Uh, Edison format. You know, I have it in my deck profile, as you guys saw. And uh, is these cards are... Who's, who's going to get these again? I mean... It's Turbo Pack Ultimate Rare, man. Super hard to get these cards near mint. I have mine, and I'm debating, man. You know, running like a budget version of this. And just, man, my brain is like 50-50. My heart wants to keep it. But my brain is telling, yo, can you sell this car, man? That's easy money. Too easy. Bought these at 20s, man. That's crazy. No one cared about it. I didn't even care. I didn't even know what I was buying, man. I'm like, Ultimate Rare, 20 billies. Turbo pack, give me, give me one of those things, you know. But yeah, again, bought out, cleaned out of the market. If somehow, any chance you have this card is money, you know. Should I sell my? Leave a comment down below. I did that with Catastrophe too. You guys were like, you know, hard to supply back into the market. Just keep it. It's gonna be even more money in the future. Mm, man, man, we'll see. We'll see what Jay does down the line. Then we have Glow Up Bulb. This thing is just continues to spike as the bandly speculation digs in. Um, you know, it got the first spike. People forgot about it. No one cares about this. And then the speculation is here. I had a couple of copies of these. Yeah, so too early, too early. But I just took my profits, bought these around five billies, sold around 20. So I got my 4X off the table. And uh, yeah, this thing just continues to spike. Only what? One, two, three, five copies in the market. Guys, that's crazy. Crazy. It's essentially a $27 billion dollar card. And then after a couple of listings, it's just bought out. Triple digits. I mean, who's going to pay that, though? But Star Strike Blast, super hard uh, set to get. And cards from there appreciate in value. Just a historical set. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. And then we can double down on that with the Secret Rare. Spiked up. 30 billies as well. Holding strong. 11 listings. People coming in. They're speculating on the ban list. People, yo, if this didn't get some ban, bro, shh, I wouldn't be surprised to see this easy 50 billies but who knows even triple digits just that day just the demand because it's just broken plant tuner level one glow up bulb you know um easy nap beast it would just be too much the markets would go crazy but it would be insane then we move on to Psy frame lord lambda guys spiking up in value we had the initial spike a little bit of a retracement and now doubling down on the initial spike as we see 11 listings there's one for 15 billies here but then it's a 20 billy card then 35s then bought out only two pages guys look the demand is coming in there's a lot of hype around gamma you know just broken some decks delta and the and beta and they're just good man side frames they're good you know what i mean they're good to sneak in but everyone plays gamma right so this is a great link monster it's generic except tokens and uh, it has a great effect as well um and it's from battles of legend heroes revenge the other one is like a, a rare for maximum gold that thing that's the budget option you know, if you're on that budget life, I can't blame you. <laughs> you know what I mean on that? Like Sage says, uh, what is that? That janitor, <laughs> man, that janitor, um, uh, like income, man. You know, it, it's tough, man. It's tough. It's tough, man. Uh, it is, it is. But yeah, Secret Rare from Battles of Legend. Hard card to get. Um, I have a play set of these. Bought them when no one cared about them. What was, what was the price of this card? Not too long ago. Here you go. No, I didn't buy this. I, buy it, I bought it after... You know, the initial spike around like five, six billies, boom. And this is near piercing previous all time highs. Crazy the demand for this card. And it looks beautiful, man. I'm going to get rid of my places soon. Come on, guys. Hopefully, the things, the buyout continues to ramp up. I could sell up here. Can't get too greedy, but let's see what happens. Then, Discord. We talked about this card a while ago. Leon is always mentioning this card, uh, this card in the comments and the Discord. So, shout out to Leon. Talked about this, this discord discord no pun intended um uh when the channel started a couple of months back um and we see here cleaned out there's like you know a couple of play sets here and there only four listings for the dt dual terminal discord neither player can synchro summon that's it you know yeah, that is, yeah floodgate that's it 
you know, last for three end phases. Um, and yeah, you know, floodgate continuous. Neither player can synchro some. You know that that's that's it. So totally get it. There's a super rare as well, but DTs look really really nice. I have like four of these, and uh, yeah, it's a good time to be alive. Then you have no punk boxy tune guys look at this spike here after gold pride getting regional results as we discussed in our previous video and you can see the spike the demand coming back in people getting in their place as the card their amounts you know that they need for their deck 25 listings only it's a 34 35 billy card only three pages i mean i think this is getting reprinted yeah and the grand creators in uh the tins most likely most likely you never know right what's you know kept out from the tins but yeah, I mean, people don't care about tins coming later this year. They're getting ready for Nat season. Gold Pride slash Punks are getting results in the regionals, and they need their cards. They're getting their cards. Then Spellbound. Didn't know this one. Just saw this last night. I'm like, I can't wait to bring it to the community. Why? Because, again, this is from Dark Wing Blast. We expect a possible reprint in the tins as well. But people are like, we need this now. Look, the effect is too good. All face-up monsters your opponent currently controls cannot be tributed. Or use this material for fusion synchro xyz or link summon until the end of this turn and it's a quick play yo this card is so good and uh yeah right now it's 10 11 billies a double up really i got mines at five so i'm up to x 38 listings only single prince secret rare from darkwing blast love the artwork as well you know i have five of these and uh yeah should be moving them soon just take the 2x and live to fight another day only four pages and the card is just spiking up in value wow then same for ultimate slayer these went down to 12s 13s honestly secret rare from power of the elements single print as well you know targeted for a reprint possibly in the tens later this year and it's a 20 billy card essentially already there's a wall here of 38s and 66 listings but so wanted to talk about that late spike in the card for the last couple of weeks from 12s almost a double up you know what i mean so again another broken spell card your opponent cannot activate monster effects in response to this card's activation send one monster from your extra deck to the graveyard then target one monster your opponent controls with the same card type fusion synchro xyz pendulum or link shuffle it into the deck yo it just shuffles it back wow and then you can also plus from sending from your own extra deck to your grave you know with certain extra deck monsters is it ints yeah like you can pop a card and things of that nature so very very good card um and i could see you know the the potential heading into this new format is all about the ban list at this point you know so let's see if this is gonna be a staple and stay in the market then we have gersu the orcus mech knight a lot of orcus cards are getting hyped up and getting you know targeted and things of that nature um because people expect carport to be off the ban list and you know and, and this that and the other and we can see this was a five to six billy card that's when i got mine uh ironically just bought a place and i'm already up to x so that's a good deal with regards to those only 21 listings um yeah only and then 10 billies quickly goes up to 13s and then 15s and beyond man people coming in they're getting their copies and uh you see the chart just starting a new uptrend the demand is coming in and you do have ultras from the tens i believe the 2021 tens you have the tcg player database in my head there you go so this is cheap massively reprinted ultra rare easy to get you see a little bit of a spike here but look it's uh, 39 cents a billy gets you a billion some change gets you a place that not bad at all i also have a place out of this it's just too cheap you know and only two printings for this card so this secret these secrets look nice man it looks really good from eternity code and then another one from eternity code is a nimadorn archosaur you know we talked about this one uh, not too long ago level one dinosaur dinosaurs are getting support soon you know uh and uh yeah it's 15 billies only 24 listings you do have the ultra rares as well i have five of those just set to the side you know what i mean and uh yeah i just have one of these but yeah from eternity code pumping out value you know uh months and and, and months later after being released then you have ravenous coco what, croco dragon oh that's pretty cool like a crocodile and a dragon and this uh Archithis, maybe yeah hopefully i said it right but yeah it has two printings the other one is a common unless you go budget no one else really cares about that and you see this uptrend now where the card was at around a billy and now is essentially you have one here but it's a two dollar and sit in 50 cent card but those are one ofs man the the place that was around threes really and uh 52 listings again synchros are coming with that strong support in dune and people are coming in from eternity code and just getting ready with their ultra rares i see the potential of this being an easy five billy card sooner rather than later and maybe even tens down the line so it doesn't hurt 
to yet get your copy sooner rather than later guys don't forget this saturday we have a giveaway guys five of you guys five winners are going to be selected you're going to earn uh 10 billy gift cards five of you guys okay saturday night between 10 30 11 ish you know eastern time again we're gonna you know grow into this this is all new to me um i've done a couple of live live streams but i want to get into the hang of doing one weekly so i'll be i'll make sure to keep the community informed but for right now for this week saturday probably 10 30 11 ish uh eastern time make sure you guys stay tuned for that have the notification bell on that's gonna be key you know when we go live for the live stream um so keep make sure you keep that in mind to celebrate our one k goal being met we're gonna give back to the community and there might be an extra surprise too you know what i mean five ten billy gift cards for now but you never know you want to make sure you swing by stay tuned for that you know you never know if your boy jay's feeling good on that saturday and man let's leave it at that you know come make sure you swing by to stay tuned it's gonna be an amazing live stream first time in a couple of weeks you know and now first time after 1k so hopefully more of you guys are gonna make it to you know there make sure you guys check the link in the description down below where we have all our centralized resources or socials TikTok, facebook instagram the twitters discord make sure you, you join into discord because that's where i'm gonna be communicating with the winners um make sure you read the the server rules and get that role so that you can stay in and not get kicked out and then the semi-limited podcast boys man shout out to them we have a couple of episodes here if you're on the commute make sure to listen in into those as well so yeah giveaway coming soon live stream this saturday and to participate all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed and we're going to be making a fresh friday feature video this friday all you have to do is just leave a comment on that video that's it you're participating as long as you're subscribed and you leave a comment on that video we're going to be choosing our winners from that video live on the live stream on saturday i hope it's clear i liked keeping things as transparent as possible so you know if you have any questions make sure you leave um in the in the you know comment section down below be like jay how do i participate am i in this that and the other i'll make sure and to answer all your comments and to make sure that everything is clear you know i just wanted to touch on the best selling cards from the Sayak season so far after Sayak release you know there's best selling cards again shout out to jason uh grabber meyer my bad if i said the name wrong you know a lot of you guys are leaving comments down below saying you really like you know when i go over these the visuals and of, co of course all credits to jason and the tcg player team and all that i'm not sponsored by them i just like taking these articles where they summarize everything and that i and then i can provide my own opinion you know to my community so hopefully you guys can find value you know in that and we've discussed a couple of these already but yeah after Sayak got released you have i'll be on the sanctifier um dragon as we can see here uh it's just been dumping since it came out but again it's been best selling look the demand is here yo people coming in getting their copies i mean right now it's a 14 billy card over 100 listings set just came out but everyone's playing branded it feels right and everyone needs access to um, you know, their new fresh off the press Albion secret rare from Syax. So there you go. Then other than Albion, we have Ring Ringle Worm, the dragon guarding the hundred apples, guys. We do see here. Wow. What a V-shaped recovery after he hitting tens, elevens. You know, right now it's 15s to, to yeah, 15 billies for this card. If we clean this up, janitor style real quick, 83 listings. So already under 100 listings, guys. And this card just got released as an ultra rare. Um, what what the, it's a dragon tuner level too yo that's crazy man so yeah make sure you guys keep this one in mind retracing back a little bit used to be a 17 dollar 50 cent card just a couple of days ago but the demand is here when you see cards v-shaped recovering like that you just never know when it's gonna get reprinted it's a dragon tuner uh, level two and it's a really good card it has a lot of potential guys then the next one is axel synchro stardust dragon we saw that in our previous market watch we have draw and lock retracing back down to threes um that's good in case any of you guys need to get in this is when i would get my play set you know at 10 billies I, I was telling you guys get him at a billy okay it is what it is if you're new to the community or you didn't you know listen to your boy jay from fresh off the press sometimes it's just too easy buying yo droves at billy's man still up a lot on this investment but i'm waiting for that second leg up so who knows if it's gonna come but before the second leg 
up in this card's price comes possibly you want to make sure 10 billion just get your place if you don't have draw at all this is when i would come in you just never know a ban list comes purely become tier zero <laughs> you know and everyone's uh, uh you know uh maining drills and every the demand comes in you want to at least at the bare minimum have your place at, at you know when it's retracing back down to the mean so can't wait for that second leg up you know i'm gonna go crazy here on the channel then number six gold pride better luck next time here as we can see v shape recovering a little bit we used to be 15 16 billies now as we can see is a 20 billy card under 50 listings guys so again did this thing just got a, a regional uh, um results as we showed in our previous market watch with gold pride slash punks and uh yeah single print secret rare from sayak just came out card is literally fresh off the press continuous is very good for the archetype and uh, you can see the demand spiking back up after the lows. So make sure that you keep this one in mind. Then uh, number five, we have Guiding Quem the Virtuous. Everyone, the demand on this card just playing their branded Despia, uh, you know, Albaz decks. Uh, you know you know what I mean? They, they need this card. They do. And as we can see here, clear V-shaped recovery from the 33 billies all the way up to 41s, 42s. And yeah, if we clean this up, you know, right here, uh, uh, 40 billies essentially almost under 100 listings so card is going to keep its demand everyone needs it car looks beautiful beautiful artwork and uh yeah car is not going to do what cartesia did unfortunately where it was a 12 dollar card i would love it man to see this retrace like that just done but the demand is sky high and i don't see that happening anytime soon then number four we have chaos angel used to be a 55 56 billy card retracing now back down to 44s 45s you know what i mean but hey i mean there's not that many listings under 100 already and uh people still coming in just if they need it they're getting their copies and uh yeah i mean if i would need one i would just buy it but again the supply is going to come in maybe i would wait a, a week or two maybe and then come in you just never know with cars like these you don't know when they're going to get reprinted and uh you know i think they're going to retain their value at least into that season so definitely one that i would keep in mind then you have this pater it's nice that this card actually continues to go down and now stabilize a little bit you know around 11s 12s this is when i would come in you know anywhere from now to a week from now maybe two weeks tops if i need this card i would come in and at least get my copy you just never know don't let this ultra rare be 20s again or 25s you don't know maybe not right but again i wouldn't run that risk as if i would need the card the card now if i want to invest in this maybe i buy one but i'm waiting for fives or sixes is it likely probably not i would just then just leave the card alone but again bestial good card it's a bestial card um synchro great effect bestial this pater just came out you don't know when you're gonna get a reprint so you know you measure those things and then uh, you make the necessary moves number two super heavy samurai prodigy wakashi man yeah i think i yeah i said it maybe yeah so again came out pumped up to eight 2x and now dumping back down into oblivion a billy card you know massively printed with over 200 listings massive walls so yikes man but the demand is here people playing super heavies they you know they have their copies and i would get mines at around billy's yeah this is when we would come in just if you're playing super heavies you come in if you don't have it yet you make sure you have your copies and then the number one card from Sayak, guys best selling card this is a sign guys it is time terry time tearing uh morganite terry no nah, not terry number one this is a broken card for the rest of this duo apply the following effects you cannot activate monster effects in the hand draw two cards instead of one for your normal draw your, during your draw phase just insane you can conduct two normal summons or sets per turn not just one you can banish this card from your grave you are still giving then discard one time terry morgan that your opponent can activate monster effects when you normal summon this that yo man now that's too much man honestly this card i i totally get the v-shape to fours to fives now retracing back down man i need my copies i only got one need two more you know for me to play myself and then one invest as well but the demand is too much 111 listings Man, can we see this at two billies? I mean, man, your boy wants to get an R09, but you know what I mean? I'm going to start with my playset. Keep working off from there. Card is just so good. Super rare from, from Sayak, and it's the best selling card from Sayak in the past couple of weeks. Guys, if you enjoy the content, make sure you like, 
this video as it really helps out with the algorithm i would really really appreciate that just to find other great people like you guys also don't forget to click the notification bell so that you can keep up with our latest and greatest fresh off the press videos also subscribe man destroy that subscribe button it really helps out the channel our goal is 10k now why not got to think big go big go home you know we're gonna but of course the stepping stones you know 1.5k 2k 3 5 but you're gonna keep growing keep providing that value that quality content to the community the discord is growing our community is growing and it's all thanks to you guys because you're the straight mvps also remember that this content is not any official financial advice it's for entertainment purposes only and you guys are the straight mvps if you made it out here thank you so much for your support the comments you know down below in the video the likes the subs man where would i be without this beautiful wonderful community hopefully you guys feel the great vibes a lot of good energy from my you know from my part to you guys so thank you so much if you made it this far out i really appreciate it thank i'm just so so grateful but all right i'll let you guys get going guys thank you so much for your time for your support and for your attention and hope you guys have a good one